You know, there are more U.S. troops guarding the capital than there are in Afghanistan, which makes D.C. feel like banana stand. 6,000 National Guardsmen are still milling around trying to look busy because Nancy Pelosi is working vigorously to shift the blame from herself to Republicans for as long as possible. Why? Because our apparent moldy dotard of a speaker was informed on January 4th by Capitol Police via the sergeant at arms of the House that Trump-loving nitwits were going to play civil war and storm the Capitol after his dumb rally two days before the siege. Did she give the okay for the guard then? Nope. But now, when the threat has been clearly neutralized, the Capitol is still militarized. So it looks like unstable vigilante Republicans will restorm at any given moment. What happened on January 6th was awful, atrocious, unforgivable, and adjective-worthy, and everyone agrees that it was awful. But I thought Democrats had also agreed that militarization was bad, and no one wants to live in a police state. Yet, they've created a beefy fortress that won't detroop until the fall. So how the hell does that square with reform-minded donkeys? The funding for this ongoing ruse, so far, $500 million, because 6,000 troops is a lot of mouths to feed and furnish, and this whole thing might be a violation of the Third Amendment, depending on where they're quartered. Take down the fencing, send these bored and brave folks back to their home states, and for God's sake, please stop playing politics with every issue and angle. We see through it, and none of this makes us safer. It is all an unsophisticated, ham-fisted attempt to inflict damage on the enemy within. But the National Guard stationed outside? Well, it's obvious Nancy doesn't know which direction to pour her musty haterade. And that's the memo.